wobble and shake as you get down the road. If it does, you need to stay tuned for this video. We're gonna show you how to true your wheel to make sure it goes in a perfectly straight line. It gets rid of that annoying wobble as you're going down the road and you're watching it twitch back and forth like this. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please stay with us, like and subscribe to the channel, and let's get going with this video. So some simple tools that you need to have before we get started with this is just a little spoke wrench and we're gonna use a zip tie. All right, so I have one zip tie already pre-set up right here. And all this is gonna be doing is giving us a reference point right here. As you can tell as I move this around, there's not much of a gap in between that. And that's kind of what we're looking for. So we wanna kind of swivel this in to where it's almost touching the wheel. And then we're gonna give it a spin. If it's not touching anywhere, we're gonna go in a little bit more. So as you can tell, as we spin this wheel around, it does hit. So if you don't know much about bike wheels, you have spokes on this side that run down to this side of the hub, and then you have spokes on this side that run down to the opposite side of the hub. Essentially, you need to think about this as both are pulling in opposite directions. So if we have a rub that's on this side, that is telling us the rim is bowing in towards this side. So what we need to do is first, we're gonna loosen the spoke that is closest to the, the rub mark. We're gonna loosen that up in hopes of that putting more tension on that opposite side of the hub, and it's gonna pull it the other way. If we need more tension, on the opposite side to continue to straighten it out more, to pull it more in that direction. We're just gonna... So to break this down in a visual reference, imagine the rod that I'm holding is the hub that's in the center of the bike wheel. And imagine my left arm is the left spokes and my right arm are the spokes on the right side going down to the hub. So if this side has a rub on it, meaning that it's bowed out on that side, Essentially, it's gonna look kind of like this. Imagine this is too tight. So what we're gonna do is just loosen up that left side in hopes of that straightening it back out. And if that doesn't straighten it out enough, we're gonna to have to tighten up the right side to straighten it back out. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a visual on kind of how to go about approaching this. But essentially, it's very, very easy. The hardest part is knowing if you're loosening or tightening the spoke because it kind of does feel the same both ways. So one of the biggest things is you don't want to over tighten or loosen it up too much because they can come out and then it's a, it's a pain in the butt to get it back in. So just be cautious, do little bitty adjustments. Okay, so we already had the other one on the other side pre-set up, but we're gonna go ahead and take a zip tie and I'm gonna show you how I go about doing this. I like to have the little barrel of the zip tie facing in. That way when this curves around, you see how it's like curving in towards the wheel? It's gonna make it easier to give us a reference. So I'm just gonna kind of tighten that down. It doesn't have to be extremely tight because we still need to be able to move this around. And then I'm gonna take my, my snips right here and just clip it off, leaving about an inch right here that we can work with, because this is gonna give us our reference. Okay, and if we need to tighten this up a little bit more, we can. We have that one in really close, almost touching the wheel. And then on this side, we also have it really, really close, almost touching the wheel. So you can tell as I spin it, you can hear it rub on both sides alternating. So essentially what we're gonna do is try to even it out to where there is zero rub noise from both sides. Okay, and that's gonna give us as true of a wheel spin as possible. You guys, this isn't the professional way of doing it, but it will get you close to that wheel being perfectly true to start this out, what we're gonna need to do is take our zip tie and I'm gonna place it all the way to where it touches the wheel. 
because you can see it naturally backs off depending on where the bow is in the rim. So we're gonna look forward to rub. Right there is where it starts the rub and it ends right here. Okay, so it stops right there. So we're gonna be looking for the spokes on this side closest to us, coming down to this side of the hub. We're gonna to look to loosen those up. Okay, and you can tell by just loosening two of those that was in the middle of where it was rubbing, eliminated that wheel rub. So we're gonna turn it to this other side and confirm that it's good, but I think we almost got this on the first try. Look at that. That is crazy, that thing is like, right on that rim. And you can even tell by just touching it like this. I'm gonna bring it in and you can hear how consistent this sound is. Very consistent sound, so that lets me know that this wheel is pretty true. So double checking both sides, that's gonna let you know how true this wheel actually is. And surprisingly, we got it pretty close by just using these zip ties. Obviously, you could get it a lot more accurate if you actually had a truing stand, but you know, using these zip ties, it doesn't cost hardly anything, even though a truing stand is probably less than a hundred bucks just to get a cheap one, but this right here is gonna get you close. All right, so that's how you do the front. Obviously, if you needed to make more adjustments over here, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You know, loosen first if you have to, and then tighten on that other side. So just keep that in mind, always loosen first and then tighten and you're gonna be just fine. We're gonna go ahead and- Okay, so we only showed you on the front wheel, but if we were gonna do the back wheel as well, all you'd have to do is attach the zip ties somewhere in this spot right here. And that'll give you a good reference. Uh, if we're doing it on a mountain bike, it's similar, but it can be a little tricky because if you have a fork that's like this, you really don't have access to see if it's gonna rub off of that wheel. So you might have to get a little creative with that. In the back, it shouldn't be fine because you could attach it to somewhere around here. But honestly, with these big beefy tires, these are 2.6s, I can't even tell if this has a untrue wheel or not. It, they're just so big, it's kind of like a dirt bike tire almost. Um, they're just so big that you can't really see if it's wobbling in or out it's just it's just a huge tire but on these road bikes you can definitely tell if you have a wobble and it gets really annoying looking down and seeing that thing wobble too i hope you all like this little how to true your wheel on your bike video hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight on how to actually do it because this is a nice little trick that way you don't have to go down to the bike shop and have them true your wheel and dish out all kinds of money for them to do it when you can do it pretty easily from your garage with just minimal tools and it gets you acquainted with your bike and lets you learn how to work on that thing a little bit. All right guys, if you like this video, please help me out on the channel, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in those future videos.